Angelina Jolie attends the state dinner with her eldest son, Maddox. I'm so proud of him. Yeah. I'm so excited. I feel like my world expands as their world expands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I learned so much from them. The duo looked chic as ever for the event on Wednesday, hosted by President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden at the White House, honoring the President of South Korea. That's Angie rocking a vintage Chanel jacket and a dress that was made for her years ago, along with her personal jewelry. Maddox looked dapper in a YSL tux and Cartier ring. The dinner marked the 70th anniversary of the U.S. and Republic of Korea alliance, which is critical to advancing peace, stability, and prosperity for the two countries, the Indo-Pacific, and around the world. Now a source tells ET why Asia-America relations are important to Angelina's family. She and her children have had close ties to the region, including South Korea, for many years, and Angie and Maddox were honored to attend the state dinner. I felt very, uh, very lucky. The Oscar winner has visited South Korea many times for her humanitarian and refugee advocacy over the past two decades. And she visited South Korea in 2019 while dropping Maddox off for his first year of college at Yonsei University in Seoul to study biochemistry. What was very beautiful is the way everybody said goodbye. When you know that your kids love each other and you see the way they all, without any kind of prompting or pushing, give each other notes, hug each other, take care of each other, support each other, then you feel like they're going to be okay and they're going to always have each other. And Angie said the whole experience had her deep in her mom feels. I do know it was the one moment in my life, I think I turned around six times before like the airport just kind of, you know, to just, you know, and he sweetly stayed and kept waving. It, it's nice to know that he knows how much he's loved. The actress and mom of six adopted Maddox from an orphanage in Cambodia when he was seven months old. I'm so happy for him that he's grown up into such a such a good man. Um, and he's and I say that because he's smart and he's doing his work, but he's also wild, and so he's 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 balanced in his in his teenage uh, years. Of course, Angie also shares 19-year-old Pax, 18-year-old Zahara, 16-year-old Shiloh, and 14-year-old twins Knox and Vivian with her ex-husband, Brad Pitt. I'm so lucky. They, we, we've all been used to being tight together for a long time, and it was so nice when Mad came home from college. And I think when you have that many children, they, they really take care of each other. They are an amazing team, so I'm very, very fortunate. Wednesday's appearance comes months after Angelina stepped down from her role with the United Nations, where she also served on the high-profile UN High Commissioner of Refugees Special Envoy after more than 20 years. At the time, Angie said in a post on Instagram that refugees are the people she admires most in the world, and she is dedicated to working with them for the rest of her life. I will be working now with organizations led by people most directly affected by conflict that give the greatest voice to them.